Greetings RC friends, welcome to Props and Wheels. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to bind and set up a Horizon Hobby airplane with AS3X and safe select stabilization technologies to the Radiomaster TX16S. The model I have today is the E-Flight F-16 Falcon 64mm EDF jet that came bind and fly, meaning that it came with the receiver already installed. To my best knowledge, AS3X technology cannot be turned off in these airplanes. If there is a way, I don't know, but if I figure it out in the future, I will demonstrate that as well as a video. But safe select can be turned on and off while you are binding it, or you can also program to turn it on and off using a switch, and I'm going to demonstrate that as well. By the way, AS3X and Safe Select are two different stabilization technologies. AS3X corrects, for example, for the perturbation caused by the wind. So you have full control of the airplane. You can roll, roll it, pitch it any way you want. But if you are not putting any control inputs, if the wind disturbs it, it will bring it back to that original position. On the other hand, safe select has much more control. So with safe select, you, you can only bank at a certain angle, but not more than that. And if you lose control, like put the airplane in a really strange position and you let go of the stick, center the right stick, it will come back to the straight and level flight. So it is a much more advanced technology in terms of stabilization. It interferes with your flying basically. It's good for learning, but you have experienced pilot, you want to have more control over the airplane. To make things go a little faster, I already set up an airplane and named it EFF-16 Falcon. And I will put the link to that video, how to set up a model, down in the description and also give a link that's going to pop up about now. So for the binding process, what you're going to need is your bind plug, of course your model, a battery, and your TX16S. And first I'm going to show how to set up this model with AS3X only. So there won't be any safe select option in that case and you cannot even use a switch to turn on and off. It will be set up with AS3X only. And for that process, you know, that's for binding, you put the bind plug in. I love these airplanes because they started, Horizon Hobby started putting an extension cord to the bind jack on the receiver so you don't have to you know fish this little bind plug into the receiver so you can just call it connect it and you're good so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to long press the mdl button will bring us model setup and just rotate the wheel one click left it will jump to the bottom of the page because this is where internal rf mode is and i'm going to press the wheel turn and then multi protocol model module is now on click it is selected go to next and i'm going to go back to dsm dsm is selected this is dsm x technology so click come to dsm x and i'm going to choose the shorter response time which is 11 milliseconds for fast quick planes it's better to select this one and come down to receiver number. I know that receiver 21 is open, so I'm going to select 21. And then just hover over bind, but not start the binding process. Now I'm going to connect the battery. And you will see that light is blinking fast so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my channel a couple feet away that's what is recommended and hit this wheel which is going to start the binding process and I just want to show you this so I will let you know when I click the button I just clicked it and you could hear it and that light stopped blinking now it's blinking slower and turn off again Give it a couple seconds. As you can see, all the control surfaces 
moved once and then there was a beep. So that means that once, dancing once, means that AS3X is on. AS3X has been set up, but it has not been activated yet. In order to activate AS3X, let's come out of this page to the main screen, you have to advance the throttle to over 25%, very quickly maybe. And that activates AS3X. So now, you can probably hear the surface is moving. And you maybe you can see the elevator moving as well. But the safe select is not on. If you rotate plane the upside down, it is not trying to correct itself. I mean, it is correcting for little perturbations like wind, but it is not, not trying to right the plane back up to the right side up. So AS3X on, but safe select is not. So what do we do in order to activate also safe select? And in this case, we are just going to put the bind plug on. And again, bring this screen to bind screen, MDL. And just hover, hover over bind, as you see, get this ready. Connect the battery, but immediately pull the bind plug off. So the bind plug is not there, but it is still in the bind mode. And if you bind in this condition to the plane, and I started the bind process, you can hear it. And it is not blinking anymore. And look what's going to happen now. One, two, so all the surfaces danced twice this time, moved twice. So this means that AS3X as well as Safe Select are both on right now. And we can tell from, if you rotate this upside down, do you see the aileron moving? It is trying to ride the plane back up. But now that the safe select is on, how do we turn it off if we want to turn it off? Now we have to program a switch. And to do that, let me show you what you have to do. So this is bound, right? Let's come out of here. And we are going to go to mixes. This is page down button. It's going to come right. One, two, three. This is inputs, four. Mixes. We are going to go down. So channel 5 in the mixes, select this and we are going to give mix name, I'm going to name it safe. So mix name is safe, just going to come one down to the source, click the wheel, now it's selected and I'm going to assign the SF switch, it's a two way switch, basically on off almost for safe safe on, safe off. So I'm going to toggle that switch and you will see now it's SF switch, right? And leave it away. Now, if you come out of here, you see SF switch, the mix is for channel five and it's safe. Now we are going to go down to the outputs. Here in the outputs, if I move, the SF switch, you can see channel 5 is going between minus 100 and plus 100. Now there is one more thing we have to do. We have to check to make sure that all surfaces are moving as they are supposed to. Because during the installation of this receiver inside in the factory, it has been all set up with the correct inputs. So if the plane is like banking to the, to the right, it is going to sense that so that it can bring it back to the left. And for that, all the sur surfaces need to be properly set up, not reversed. So let's start by checking. 
I'm just going to come out of it. Let's start by checking the ailerons. Right aileron up. No, left goes up. So this is reverse. So we have to first fix the aileron direction because it is in the wrong direction. MDL. And then go to the outputs. With page down. Outputs. And then channel one is the aileron channel. Click once. Come down here to this direction arrow. And then click once and it changes direction do you see now right left right aileron left aileron it's working correctly so return and then let's check the elevator elevator is working up elevator down elevator it is working correctly let's look at the rudder channel which is just connected to the front wheel on this one because it doesn't have a rudder but I'm, I'm going right further and it is turning left. So it's, if you can see it, it's turning in the wrong direction. Left is turning right, right is turning left. So we have to adjust, reverse the channel 4 as well. Come over here, one click, it is reversed. Now let's see. Right, right, turning right, left. This is very important. If you don't do this, the programming is not going to work for the switch. Okay, let's come out of here. Now, in order to program the SF switch, what you have to do is, let me try to show it while the plane is also in the view. You pull both of these sticks down and towards the center like this and then you toggle the switch back and forth five times and at that point you will see the control surfaces move by themselves one two three four five did you see that it reset the plane now now this SF switch controls the turning on and off of safe select. All right, the SF switch is away from me. Actually, I have to activate the AS3X by giving a little bit of throttle. Now AS3X should be activated. You can hear it, but safe select is not Activated. Now I'm going to flip the SF switch towards us. Now safe select should be activated. And it is activated. Do you see? We can also demonstrate by putting back to AS3X and putting the plane kind of like sideways attitude. And then if I flip the switch, do you see? It is jumping. So towards me, safe select on. Away from me, safe select off. So this is great because if somebody is learning, they can start with the switch towards themselves. Safe select is on. It's correcting. If in a panic mode, it's coming back. But for practicing without safe select, they can switch to AS3X only. And if something happens and they lose control of the plane, they can just flip the switch back and it is back to safe select. And it will save self level from this orientation. It will self level come back to here. All right, folks, this is how to set up an airplane, Horizon Hobby airplane with AS3X and safe select and also programming a switch to turn the safe select on and off. I hope this video was useful to you. If so, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and healthy. Hope to see you on the next video. Bye bye.